Can you name this song? That was the intro to I Want You Back, which was the first number one hit for the Jackson 5. And in today's quiz, we'll be focusing on 30 other songs and trying to guess them from their intro. Play to guess either the song title or song title and artist as well. And before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! Starting off with Fleetwood Mac's The Chain, which was created from combinations of previously rejected material. Originally recorded by I-10 in 1983, Hart's version of Alone in 1987 has had the most chart success. Queen and David Bowie collaborated for the 1981 hit Under Pressure. Build Me Up Buttercup was a 1968 worldwide hit for the Foundations. Babushka was a 1980 hit for Kate Bush. It's also a very, very fun word to say. Master of Puppets was a 1986 single for Metallica. Town Called Malice was a 1982 hit for The Jam. In for the Kill by LaRue is certified platinum in Australia and the UK. Beyonce says she was inspired to write the song Love on Top whilst playing Etta James in the 2008 film Cadillac Records.
jamming was on the Bob Marley and the Whalers 1977 album Exodus. Katy Perry top charts worldwide at the end of the noughties with Hot and Cold. Friday I'm In Love is a 1992 worldwide hit for The Cure. Apparently Blink-182's I Miss You was inspired by The Cure's song The Love Cats. Uprising by Muse was certified platinum in six countries as well as diamond in France. band Thin Lizzy released The Boys Are Back In Town in 1976. She's a perfect 10, but she wears a 12. Perfect 10 by the Beautiful South was certified platinum in the UK. Smith released Dream On in 1973. The song was sampled in Eminem's Sing for the Moment 30 years later. Limp Biscuit's cover of The Who's Behind Blue Eyes was a top 10 hit worldwide. One Day Like This by Elbow was featured during the closing ceremony of the London 2012 Olympics. Shivers was a 2021 hit for Ed Sheeran.
Have a Nice Day was on Stereophonic's 2001 album Just Enough Education to Perform. Originally written for the 1930 musical comedy film Whoopi, Nina Simone released her version of My Baby Just Cares For Me in the late 50s. House of Fun is the only UK number one single for Madness. Perhaps one of the most famous intros of all time because of its use in film and TV, Cashmere was on Led Zeppelin's 1975 album Physical Graffiti. Robbie Williams topped multiple European charts in the early 2000s with Feel. Wait by Mumford and Sons has been certified platinum in Australia, the US, Canada, the UK and Norway. The intro to Britney Spears' is Toxic is actually a sample from a 1981 Indian song. American band The Offspring top charts in Iceland, Latvia, Norway and Sweden with self-esteem. Prince Charming was a European hit for Adam and the Ants in 1981. And ending with Sex on Fire, which was a worldwide hit in 2008 for Kings of Leon. So that's the end of this Spot the Intro music quiz. What was your total score and which song used was your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for playing along and I'll see you again soon for another squeeze.